I felt that this was a, a lacking in Ellensburg, like the downtown and all the bars there. I mean, a lot of them are similar. There's food, there's drinks. Um, we were actually a nightclub. We're not really considered a, say, a bar at, at, on our license. So like 301, they're a nightclub as well because they have activities and things to do for after 9 o'clock. Um, we wanted to have a place where we could come in, sit down, have choices of different beers, choices of different drinks. Uh, we have lots of non-alcoholic drinks as well, uh, all the juices and sodas of Pepsi, Coke, I mean, pretty much a little bit of everything. Uh, so we didn't actually, per se, need to be, say, a bar or a nightclub, because I think it would have been okay without it, but I think to actually be able to keep continuing getting more stuff and making our inventory a lot greater to offer more choices for everyone, that the nightclub bar thing was the only way to actually be able to afford to be able to continue to grow at a pace where every week there's something different for somebody. Um, and it just seemed like it was the one thing that was missing downtown is something else to do after nine o'clock you can come down and play board games, card games, you know, they have all the video games you can think of and, and that's that was our whole idea. It was just somewhere where everybody could come and play games, you know. And, and we're, we're hoping that uh, we can actually down the road offer an under 21 version of this as well. And that'll be in a year or so, we're working on that. it would offer something even if the college wasn't here. I mean, it's big enough with enough people that when the college is gone during the summer, we're almost just as busy with just the people here. Sometimes on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, um, we're packed from 6 o'clock until 1.30 in the morning. So our max capacity is 50 people, and we're near that with people in and out pretty much five, six hours on those nights. I think even in the beginning, what we had set out to do pretty much followed the path that I wanted it to. Um, we've had a lot of people ask us, you know, why don't you do this, why don't you have that, and we know what would happen if you added this, and we chose not to because we want it, every time someone walks into the door, we want them to be able to do what they came here to do. So if we add some of these other things, then when people come in, the place is already packed and they don't get to do what they want to do. It just, I think it's a deterrent from really the, the vision I had. So we've decided to keep it just as it is without any changes and it's been, it's followed everything perfectly. The other thing that we do offer you know, is the sports as well. And a lot of the sports people, I think, kind of cross back and forth from video games and board games. For the future, down the road, we'd like to have the building next to us, rent that out, and uh, I guess the, the space next to us, and then have 21 and under, and have like a mall shop until 9 o'clock, and then at 10 o'clock, we'll open it up and have 21 and under only. That's, that's our vision, so it may be another year for that to happen, it may not, but what we're gonna do is try to get it so everybody from all ages can come in and enjoy, just like they did when I had the baseball card shop here in town. I mean, everyone from two to 70, you know, we're coming in as regulars and you know, getting their favorite things, sports and Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh and all the games that they still love to play. Yeah.